What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it's 50 cents a day. Also guys, please don't forget to stop by CMP Kits, get yourself a copy of Trap Chords for Scalar, MPC Edition. I've got uh, three chord progression packs that are for the MPC on cmp kits they got 40 chords in them a piece enhance your pad perform experience now today what i want to do is i want to show you guys how i've been working with the mpc studio it's a really welcome addition to my studio you guys see how much stuff i have on my desk on my desk um, space is at a premium so to be able to have a controller that could control uh, a software that's as powerful as the mpc2 software and you know be able to do everything that i do with the mpc or with my traditional DAW. To be able to do everything that I would do with my traditional DAW, whether that's, you know, program beats, audition samples, I can, you know, bring in my my outboard gear, which today I'm going to be using my Prophet X, you know, to make uh, Drake type of vibes. Uh, we're going to be using traditional plugins. Um, we're going to be using the some of the stock EQs and let's just jump right into it and I'll show you guys how I could cook this up. So the first sound that I'm going to use is going to be a sound from my Prophet X here. Um, this is like a pad type of vibe. I'm using the pad perform inside of the MPC software. So we are in the C natural minor scale. I have the pad perform loaded up. We're just going to use this progression. All right, so let's see what Let's see what we have in terms of MIDI. Now what we got to do is we got to go to our audio track now. We want to go ahead and record this here. So. So now I can go back to my MIDI, right? And we can, oops. I could just change this port so we're not playing it off of my, off of my hardware and this. Let's go to the audio track. All right, so now I want to let's just get a let's just get a nice EQ on this. When we when we recorded this in we got a little bit of silence here, but not to worry. We're just going to take this. All right. I'll change my fade in just a little bit. And we'll go out to this guy. Hold down command. Make sure it snaps. Change my fade out time. And we should have a better loop now. So we could go back and go back to the MIDI tracks. And let's pull up our browser and I want to go to, I have my drums. These are going to be from the industry slap kit. Let's get a hi-hat and a kick. So just use shift and then hit the browse. That'll bring us back up and I can browse 100% with the scroll wheel, which is awesome. So 
So this next part, I just like to gain stage my drums real quick. So I usually make my kick around negative six, my snare around negative 12, and then my hi-hats around negative 20. That'll give me like the perfect, um, you know, gain structure to be able to take this and uh, master it really simply, right? So watch this. Just gonna go ahead and hit the touch strip and we're gonna change this to um, pad level right here. So this, this, this right here is, this is negative three. So negative six is going to be in between these two, right? You just kind of eyeball it. Negative, negative 12 is going to be like underneath negative nine, right? And then you get, you just get these guys as close to as 20 as possible. So let's go. All right, cool. So now I could go in real quick and just, you know, tighten, tighten these up. It's nice to, you know, it's nice to actually play them and, and catch a vibe. You know, you'll wind up, you'll wind up making some, uh, you wind up making some cool roll combinations that you might not have went into before. So these straight hats are kind of driving me crazy. So what I'm going to do, it's cool putting them in with the note repeat, but let's go back to velocity, command D to duplicate them out. And you'll see this velocity is so much better. So now, now that I got that, we go ahead and 
go to track select. I'm going to go to track two. I'm going to select shift track type, and we're going to go to a key group, right? Let me go to shift and program edit. I'm sorry, mode program edit. And then we'll go to browse. Shift up. Let's get an 808. All right. We'll load that in. Back to mode. Program edit. And let's just set ourselves up for 808. So just select the 808 right here. Make sure that we're in mono, right? Now I can go back to the main mode. Let's take our octave back down to three. Set this to notes mode, right? So now I'm just going to adjust the end of all these notes. All right, bet. Now I want to do a I want to do a second part of this. I'm gonna do like a different sequence where we where we don't have the 808 playing. So I'm gonna go to sequence edit. Um, let's go to copy sequence, and we'll call this we'll call this saw base. I'm just gonna take these because we're not gonna need these. Um, we'll make this, let's go to track select. Let's add another track shift track type. This is going to be a MIDI track and we're going to send this to the profit X again. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a base patch real quick. So. Thank you. 
right, so let's do this. So for this, I don't, I don't want to have that same, uh, that same issue that I had with this audio track. So what I'm going to do is let's go here. Let's add a new audio track, right? Want to make sure that we have the correct input. We're on the input three, four. Okay. Um, let me make sure track one is not record enabled. Right. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to extend it to nine bars so we can record the whole thing. So now we got those. Um, I want to do another sequence, and this is going to be this is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to this patch that I was using on the uh, on the keyboard. So we were doing. So what I want to do is I want to take and I haven't used the five chord in this progression. It's just a, it's just a one, six, seven. So if I go. I bet. And now for this part, I'm going to go ahead and let's take uh we'll take this track and we'll turn it into a plug-in. Let's go ahead and bring in the VSTs. I'm going to get like a little simple bell. All right. And now all that's left to do is just kind of go in between the different patterns and, you know, see what see what we like and how they flow together. So we've got let's go back to sequence select. We got this guy.
so yeah you guys can see how i mean how easy it is to to get something like this going i mean you really have um you know the total package all in all if you want to you know get into making this style of production with your with your mpc it's super simple right you want to find a good synth pad or patch whether it's your outboard gear or whether it's your plugins and then just go ahead and activate the scale and the um the uh and then just go ahead and activate the scale in your pad perform make yourself a simple walk down and then for the b part um take advantage of one of the chords in the in the scale that you um that you haven't used right so for this progression i did a 176 walks down that left the five open you know obviously you're you you can't wait to hear the five throughout a whole song so that is a nice uh kind of b section that i could set up maybe like for a beat switch at the end of the song or something like that i could have taken a step further changed the drums um you know and really took off and then you know is when is when you take these ideas is that you're kind of sketching out putting them into you know your more traditional draw daw and you can get um just as creative as you can imagine so this is cmp with craftmaster productions you guys thank you for watching this check out cmp kits if you need drums to load up on your mpc if you need sample packs to load up on your mpc if you need chords for pad perform right cmpkits.com i got you covered keep it simple but do not be basic and we will see you on the next one